What's up guys, this is Max from HardwareHobbyist.com. This video is going to be the first in part 3 of our custom PC building guide, and part 3 is going to cover the complete assembly process from start to finish. Uh, we're not going to leave any part out because uh, this guide is, is meant as a tool for any of you who uh, would like to use it as a guide for building a custom PC. So we want to make sure that we give you a complete walkthrough and we don't leave anything out so you guys won't get caught up along the way. Alright, so by now you should have at least a general idea of the parts you want and um, maybe start to buy them. So this is the assembly. So once you start getting your parts in, uh, you can start watching these vids and uh, follow us through the process. And if you're still on the fence about it um, and you're not sure whether you want to buy a complete PC or a custom PC, uh, just go on a, go on some forums, evga.net, um, I mean overclock.net, evga.com. Both of them have great forums. Uh, post the list of parts that you were thinking about getting. Uh, ask people for their feedback, and maybe they'll point out some mistakes that you made in the selection. So it's always a great idea to use uh, all the resources available to you on the internet to make sure that uh, you have the best PC that you can get. So uh, let's get started here. Um, the reason we're doing this uh, testing video is because when you put when you put your parts into the case you want it to be as permanent as possible so it's a good idea to test as many parts as you can outside the case just for basic um, DOA parts other weird noises you may hear things like that so uh, we're gonna start that with this video so that when you guys finally put things into your case uh, you won't have any trouble from then from then on and if there is a problem you'll have found it already and you you won't have to waste a ton, a ton of time taking parts out of the case again. So when you're testing your power supply, basically you just want to listen for the fan noise. Um, I had a power supply that came and I used this method of testing and it made a weird screeching noise so it was good that I found that out before I assembled and I returned it. The new one they sent me was fine. So um, how do you test it when it's outside the case? Well, We're going to use a paper clip trick. Um, there's tons of other videos on YouTube, I'm sure, who've done this, but since this is a complete guide, we want to make sure that we give you the whole process from start to finish. So this little switch in the back um, doesn't turn it on, even if it's plugged into the wall, which it is. So keep that to off for now. Um, most switches like this have a 1 and a 0. The 0 means off and the 1 is on. So let's put it to off. And just get a regular paper clip, fold it up so the two prongs in the front are fairly close together and um, any paper clip like this will be fine. Just make sure it doesn't have any um, coating on it like a rubber coating or maybe paint that isn't conductive. And I'm going to set this down here and show you what to do with it. So make sure you have your 24 pin motherboard connector and this is the fattest one out of the bunch. It should be pretty easy to find. All right. So, let's see there, it focused. All right. So if you see this clip right here, this clip is the thing that will hold the connector into the motherboard and um, have it on the top. And if you can see, there's three pins under it, directly under it, that it sort of uh, hovers over. Now there's a left one, a center one, and a right one. The left one is the one you want. This one right here that my thumbnail's pointing at. That's the one you want to stick it into, and then the one directly to the left of that. So when you plug it in, it's going to look like this. If we can stick this in here. All right. So the paper clip just slides right in to those two, and then you're ready to test it. So now you can just flip the switch in the back, and it should turn on nicely. And there we go. There's the fan. And just listen to it for a second, make sure it's not making any weird noises. This one's very quiet. Um, pretty happy with Corsair's technology. Um, fan's really nice, and uh, it should help your PC stay silent. Alright, so that sounds great. Next, we're going to test the fans. Um, you don't even have to turn it off if you don't want to. Um, there's really nothing that can go wrong with it. So the fans came with this adapter, which is the Molex 4-pin to 3-pin, and I'm going to show you uh, something about these connectors that I've learned over the years. So um, just uh, 
when you take a look at the connector, there's rounded corners on two sides. Just make sure those match up with the other end. As you can see, the, t the top two are rounded a little bit. And um, with the male side, these pins in here can sometimes get uh, like scrunched up or down, and they might be facing different directions. They might not all be centered. So if you want, you can bend the back of it like this, up or down, like that, just on the individual wire, and then the pin will move up and down as well. And that's a way that you can use to get them all centered and make it easier to stick in, because these cables are probably the most frustrating on the power supply. So don't be afraid to use a bit of force when you do them. But this one looks like it should go in fine. And there we go, that's pretty solid. And then you can just plug your fans directly in. So here I have my fan on the table and the three pin connector right here. And then the three pin adapter from the cable we just used. So let's stick this in. Just like that. And as you can see, there goes the fan. And it sounds kind of noisy when it's on the glass, so a better representation of the sound when it's going to be in your PC is just to lift it up and listen to it for a bit like this. Now these fans, um, they actually sound really nice. They're at that level where they move just enough air to keep your PC very cool, but they don't make enough noise to be obnoxious. So uh, it's always good to spend a little bit more money on fans um, if you're into that quiet PC stuff. If you don't mind the noise so much, you can save yourself a few bucks there, but I like these fans a lot. They're very solid. Alright guys, tested each one of the fans. They all sound great. Just used um, each one's noise level as a reference against the others. So this is a really easy trick to do, and we're also going to show you how to set up um, your computer outside the case. So you just have the motherboard laying here on the table, and you use the same paperclip trick and you plug everything in to make sure it all works outside of the case so you save yourself uh, more time if anything's wrong. Alright, so look forward to that. Um, this is the beginning of part three. We're going to show you the complete assembly step by step. So you definitely can use this as a walkthrough if um, you're unsure of how to put your computer together. And uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys found this useful and find this guide useful. Um, Hardware Hobbyist, out. Thanks. Later.